What's up guys, it's Josh here back with another Kansas City Chiefs related video and today I wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking a lot about and that is the possibility that Brett Veach and the Kansas City Chiefs trade up in this year's NFL draft in the first round to maybe get a position that everyone's kind of going crazy about and that would be left tackle. You know, we, the Chiefs need a left tackle. They need a left tackle. We all know that uh, they haven't signed one. And uh, the closer we get to the draft and the Chiefs still haven't signed a veteran left tackle, the more I think they aren't really interested in any of the veterans out there because I feel like if they wanted them, it would have been done by now. A deal would have you know been in place by now to get one of these guys. And so the closer we get to the draft, the more I feel like, hey, you know what? The Chiefs might just be going all in on the draft and banking on whoever they get. And they like their guys on the roster already to kind of play that veteran role that kind of fills in for the rookie at times. And, you know, that kind of thing. Because we've all talked about how the Chiefs should sign maybe like a Villanueva or a Russell Okun to be a veteran and then draft someone and just have the veteran signing as like insurance or stopgap until the rookie comes along. Maybe the Chiefs are just okay with the rookie and I don't know, Marquinez Rankin or Yasir Durant playing left tackle. I mean, it's entirely possible, but uh, that's kind of not the point of this video. Uh, what I'm trying to get at is, see, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Ryan Tracy over at RGR Football, and he does a podcast called the Locked on Cheese Podcast. A lot of you might listen to it as well, and he does it with uh, Chris Clark, who helps host. And then also my editor over at Arrowhead Addict, uh, Matt Connor, even wanted to write up something about this, and I'm taking the idea from him now, and I'm making it into a video. I'm also going to have an article on it, but um, I'm going to combine their points in this video. So um, what... Uh, my editor at Arrowhead Addicts said was, yeah, guys, you know, if Veach was, you know, with this whole Trent Williams thing that she's trying to sign Trent Williams and Veach almost moving heaven and earth to make it happen, why don't, why wouldn't he do it in the draft? Because if, if like, think about it. Um, if Veach was so hell-bent on getting Trent Williams and was going to offer him all this big money and the Chiefs were that close to signing him, and they were all in, guys. I mean, it's been reported. They were all in, and Trent Williams was really close to signing with KC. So if Veach was so aggressive in trying to get the top left tackle in free agency, why do we think he's just going to back off and wait for a solid, at-best tackle at pick 31 in the draft? Maybe Veach is waiting to trade up in the draft and get, get someone like a Penny Sewell or someone like that because it's really not unthinkable because with all the trades that have been going on amongst the top 10 picks right now and stuff like that, it looks like quarterback is going to be pushing some other positions down the board because quarterback is hot right now. A lot of teams want a quarterback. A lot of teams are moving up for one. And so that means someone like a Penny Sewell could maybe drop down, you know, past pick number 10. If that happens, well, Guys, remember, the Chiefs traded up from all the way from, what was it, 27, 28, all the way up to 10 to get Patrick Mahomes. So if they're willing to do that, why don't why don't we think that they could go up and get someone to protect Mahomes in the same way? Because, you know, Penny Sewell, like, that's someone that a lot of people think is going to be, like, the best tackle from this class. And if the Chiefs think that, too, well, then who's to say they're not going to try to go up and get him? And another thing is... Uh, well, what I was going to say from uh, Chris Clark and uh, Ryan Tracy from their Locked on Cheese podcast is like Chris Clark mentioned, and this was a really good point. He said, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, a lot of people might not be a big fan of the trade up and he gets like, you know, not wanting to waste assets and everything like that. But, you know, this team needs a left tackle and I, like they just need a good left tackle. Not, And the thing is, is if the Chiefs don't have a left tackle, well, then you might as well pack it in for the season because Patrick Mahomes not having a good blindside blocker for the entire year, I mean, that's that's that could be a disaster. And so the more I've thought about that, it's like, yeah, wow, you know, like I just, you know, like I knew, I know we need a left tackle, but I just kind of never really thought about it like that. And uh, it just keeps making me think of this idea that she's potentially trading, like giving up a 2017 draft Mahomes-like move-up haul in order to get someone like a Sewell or, you know, whoever you guys consider like the top two or three tackles in the draft. I think it's entirely possible. I really do. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure how I would feel about it, but at the end of the day, you've got to protect the franchise. And I know 
and I've even, I'm, I myself have said a lot, like, look, I don't, I don't, I know we need left tackle, but we have a lot of other needs too. And I don't want to just act like left tackle is our only need and that we, we have the freedom to just give up all these picks so we can move up and get a left tackle. But I mean, as long as Patrick is staying upright and I hate to be one of those like overly optimistic fans. That's like, yeah, we have Patrick Mahomes. Everything's fine and dandy. Yay. But like, honestly, like as long as we have Patrick Mahomes, like, you know, we're going to be in contention. That's just how it's going to be. So getting a left tackle that we really think could be a left tackle in the future makes a lot of sense. And uh, I don't know. I just thought I would introduce the idea. I want to see what you guys think. Do you think the Chiefs could or should try to move up for a left tackle of the future in this year's NFL draft? How likely do you think it is? We've seen Brett Veach be aggressive before, so I don't think it's totally out of the question. Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. So make sure uh, you uh, talk to me in the comments. We'll get a conversation going. And also, uh, I really need you guys to help me get to 1,000 subscribers. I want to get to 1,000 subscribers before the draft. And uh, if we can do that, I will go live for the draft with my bud, Connor. And uh, we're going to do a live reaction to all the picks. And you guys can tune in to win the Chiefs pick. And we're going to have a huge reaction to who the Chiefs choose and everything. We're going to do big draft party. And then also, if I can also get to 700 subscribers, by the end of this week i will do a live mock draft where you guys are going to be able to jump in and we're all and it's going to be a fan controlled mock draft and i'm going to ask you guys what you what you guys think we should do at each pick and then we'll go ahead and make that pick and it'll be all about you guys and we'll just have a lot of fun and you know do a little mock draft here on my channel so yeah that's kind of my plans for right now so uh uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe so other Chiefs fans can find this. Let's grow the fan base. Let's do it together. Uh, make sure you check me out on showmefootball.com and check out my work on Arrowhead Addict. But that's, that's all I got for today, guys. Peace.